Most people would agree that one of the best ways to secure your family, home, or any other property is by getting yourself a good guard dog. Guard dogs are usually endowed with traits such as confidence, strong powerful muscles, high speed, sharp sense of smell and sight, high level of intelligence, and a natural instinct to protect. These four-legged friends are also known for their embowed loyalty and devotion towards their owners. On the downside, if these dogs are neglected or not properly trained, these same strengths could quickly turn to weaknesses. Genes or environment is one of the most debated topics when applied to who is the most aggressive of them all when it comes to man's best friend. It goes without saying that any dog that goes through a neglectful, abusive, or even life-threatening situation is more likely to become abusive. But the paramount question still remains, does that mean these are bad dogs? On the other hand, some dog breeds were bred with hunting and killing stamped in their genes. However, despite some breeds having been bred for all aggressively possible purposes, there are still outliers from those breeds. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Forever Green. In this video, we will explore the 14 most aggressive guard dogs and you should stick around for number one as I will reveal to you who rules the anger management classes in the Canada family. The dog breeds we're gonna showcase in this video were put through a temperament test that measures the dog's shyness, aggressiveness, as well as friendliness and self-preservation in the face of a threat. The readings are in percentage of the passing rate, meaning that the dog with the least percentage in the passing rate is the most aggressive. Number 14, Cannon Dog. The Cannon Dog is a breed from the Middle East, particularly Israel. Since time immemorial, the Cannon Dog has been used for guarding camps and livestock herds. The wild Cannon Dogs have become very rare because many of those that were living in the open were unfortunately destroyed by the Israeli government in the fight against rabies. Their population is about 2,000 to 3,000 worldwide. Yep there is only just a handful of them. Cannons are very confident and fearlessly devoted to their job. You can be sure that they are not the kind of dogs to easily scare away. These desert dogs don't get tired quickly, hence they make the perfect companions for hikes, runs, and long walks. The cannon dogs are strongly defensive and self-reliant, which basically means that you can leave them by themselves for a longer period compared to other dog breeds. They are alert, react quickly, and as expected, they distrust strangers. In the temperament test, the cannon dog exhibited a 62.5% passing rate, making them the kings of aggressiveness in the canine kingdom. Number 13. Dachshund The Dachshund, better known as the sausage dog, boasts of a long body and short legs. It is a hound-type dog breed, developed in the 17th century in Germany. The Dachshund was developed originally to first scent, then chase and flush out badgers. They have a strong hunting instinct towards burrow-dwelling animals, including mice and rabbits. Their sizes range from 8 to 32 pounds. I bet you are probably wondering how such a small, tiny dog could possibly top the list of the most aggressive dog breeds. Well, the Dachshund is known to suffer from small dog syndrome. This means that it tries to compensate for its small size by exhibiting a huge attitude and big personality. I'm positive that this behavior falls under human beings too. What do you think? Being burrowers by nature, Dachshund are likely to make a mess. They will dig into blankets and other items around the house without a care in the world especially when tired or bored. They can be difficult to house train, hence the virtue of patience is often required in this endeavor. Similar to many hunting dogs that are small in physique, they will challenge a huge dog. How courageous, huh? The temperament passing test on adoption produced a score of 68.8%. 
proving why the Dachshund made it among toppers of the list. Number 12. Chihuahua Chihuahua are best known for being the world's smallest dog and are usually included in the toy group of dogs. They are light and can weigh from 4 to 6 pounds only. Despite being known for their loyalty and unwavered devotion to their owners, they are under the care of one or two persons. Their devotion can escalate to the point of jealousy and will not hesitate to bite or snip at anyone coming too close to their owner. Unfortunately, they are very temperamental and do not make the best child-friendly dogs. Even though Chihuahuas are a smaller breed, they in no way view their size as a detriment and will fearlessly challenge a bigger and more muscular dog. However, their small physique makes them fragile and vulnerable to attacks and harm from bigger animals. These fragile creatures are not tolerant to cold weather and are easily scared away. The temperament passing test on the Chihuahua yielded a score of 69.6%. Number 11. Chow Chow The Chow Chow dog breed originates in China and is known for its dense double coat that can either be smooth or rough. This sturdily built dog is short and puffy, the kind that you just want to cuddle. However, do not be carried away by its cuteness overload because they possess a high degree temper. Some owners have likened a cat's personality to the Chow Chow. I mean, who wouldn't? Chow Chow dogs are known as a very aggressive dog breed that fearlessly protects their family and are keen to mark their territory. Aggression is expelled when there are strangers, other animals, or any other form of intrusion, like human adolescence. Chow Chow in the adolescent stage are known to reject authority from any owner and showcase a dominant personality. Because it can choose to be difficult to train, Chow Chow Dog is best in the hands of experienced dog owners who will socialize the pet Rosie, early enough and provide it with the training it requires. Rosie, come. Due to their strong hunting instincts, it is in your best interest that you keep these dogs in a fenced area, on a leash, and away from cats and small dogs. On the temperament test, the passing rate of Chow Chow Dog Breed is 71.7%. Number 10. Finnish Spitz As the name dictates, the Finnish Spitz dog breed originates from Finland. Originally, they were bred to hunt for all types of game meat, including squirrels, rodents, and even bears. It is a bark pointer, which basically means that it will bark to alert the hunter on the position of game. It also directs the attention of the animal to itself, which makes it even easier for the hunter to approach and take a clear shot. How clever! The Finnish Spits are known to be very active, alert, and lively, which makes them great watchdogs. They need exercise, which could be one or two long walks daily, and they tend to be somewhat inactive when indoors. However, this breed is not one to strictly lock in a kennel. Hence, they need a balance of outdoor exercise and indoor playtime and bonding with the family. Having been bred as a hunting dog, the Finnish Spits are not to be trusted around small children and animals, including pet birds, because they easily get aggressive. Their temperament test resulted in a 72.7% .7 passing rate. Number 9. Akita Akitas possess very strong guard instincts. These fearless yet loyal dogs originate from Japan and were originally meant to protect royalty and high-class individuals. Any poorly trained dog is a recipe for disaster. A poorly trained Akita will get so aggressive that you will instantly regret attempting to pet its cute, fluffy body. They can change from playful to aggressive within a flash of a second. As a result, the American Kennel Club recommend that you do not leave kids with the Akita as playtime could quickly turn fatal. 
It's almost impossible to come across a fearful shy Akita. They are not friendly to other animals either. Hence, you cannot let them loose in a dog park. It will be utterly disastrous. Maintaining eye contact with an individual or animal means you are paying attention, but that does not apply to Akitas. They interpret this into a, so, you want to fight? Look. They think you are challenging them, and they are certainly not afraid to bring the fight to you. Their temperament test showed a 77.8% passing rate. Before we move on, here's a quick challenge for you. If you can leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and turn on the notifications in less than 5 seconds, you will have 10 years of amazing luck. Hurry up and try it, it actually works. Number 8. Doberman Pinscher Doberman Pinscher are medium-sized dogs with glossy coats and were developed in Germany in 1890. They can weigh up to 90 pounds. They are named after their breeder, Carl Louis Doberman. Louis Doberman was a tax collector, and as you would expect, he was looking for a good dog breed that would protect him and his money, even in the most dangerous neighborhoods. I bet the Doberman Pinscher did not let him down, as these dog breeds have proven to have natural, strong, protective instincts, loyal companionship, and are without a doubt, very alert. Their intelligence is also part of the reason why they have been used as police dogs. They are not the best attention, as their fierce dogs are known to have given one of the most horrific and traumatizing experiences. Unlike other dogs, when a Doberman attacks, it does bite repetitively. Doberman Pinscher requires strong leadership to ease their aggression. They need to know their master is in charge. Do you have a small child in your homestead? If yes, then you need to steer clear of the Doberman, as their temperament test results produced a 79.1% passing rate. Number 7. Bull Mastiff Bull Mastiffs are large and muscular, and hence possess physical strength that could easily take down other animals or people. They were originally bred to protect animals from poachers. These defensive dogs can be so aggressive that it is why they are better left within fenced yards. Two months old Mastiff puppies are especially unruly. A Bull Mastiff would never hesitate to attack when faced with any form of danger. On the upside, they are great walking companions, and if you top that to their aggression, then you can be sure that no one will bother you at the park or along the road. They are very self-assured, and scaring them away is with no doubt an uphill task. On the temperament test, the Bull Mastiff had an 80.1% passing rate. Number 6. Dalmatian As the name suggests, the Dalmatian dog breed originates in the Dalmatia region, Croatia. They are covered by a white coat, which is uniquely marked with either black or liver-colored spots. The Dalmatian is a well-defined, medium-sized, muscular dog, with outstanding endurance as well as stamina. Since the beginning of time, Dalmatians were used as dogs of war, guarding the borders of Dalmatia. Additionally, the Dalmatian dogs were trained to trot alongside carriages to guard the occupants against banditry as well as from other interferences. They were also used as fire engine escorts, helping to clear the way in crowded streets and also guarding the very expensive horses in their stables. However, with the decline of horse-drawn transport, the need for the dogs faded away. After the famous 1996 comedy adventurous film by John Hughes, 101 Dalmatians, non-selective breeding of Dalmatians was extremely high. Unfortunately, this led to unstable bloodlines and dogs with behavioral problems such as hyperactivity, biting, and aggression. To date, the breed still maintains a high guarding instinct. Although friendly and loyal to those the dog is familiar with, it is often aloof with strangers and unknown dogs. 
Dalmatian dogs are very temperamental and energetic, and they need to spend that energy, otherwise they will be destructive, anxious, and aggressive. On the temperament test, the Dalmatian dog breed exhibited an 81.3% passing rate. Number 5. Rottweiler Rottweilers have got to be one of the most expensive dogs. Initially, it was trained to protect cows out in the fields and also used in bear hunting. These short-haired, large-sized dogs can be quite aggressive and very intimidating. They are certainly not kind to any strangers regardless of the stranger's age. So, if you intend to keep a Rottweiler beyond your home area, be sure to properly socialize it with people and other dogs as a Rottweiler can't tell the difference between a joke and threat. You might want to play around with it, but the events could turn out fatal. Fun fact, if you are ever attacked by a Rottweiler, the only way to get off is by holding still. Yes, hold still, don't even think of fighting back or taking off. The Rottweiler yielded an 84.5% passing rate in the temperamental test. Number 4. German Shepherd For a dog to qualify as police dog, it must be very intelligent. German Shepherds go way back to World War I, where they were the most popular dogs among both the French and German military. These fierce and fearless dogs boast of strong sniffing sense that helps them to easily search and capture criminals. German Shepherds get quite aggressive when the criminals try to resist. If not stopped quickly, they may end up killing them. They often look very friendly, but make no mistake, a German Shepherd will not sit still when threatened. They will attack when provoked and won't be a good sight to watch for they will leave you wondering if they were bred by Frankenstein himself. They are generally overprotective, but we can conclude that they know when to be aggressive. The good thing is that they are easy to train as well as socialize for their quickly learned commands. Without a doubt, they make one of the best guard dogs. In the temperament test, the German Shepherd exhibited an 85.2% passing rate. Number 3. Siberian Husky The Siberian Husky is a furry, medium-sized dog breed that is not easy to mistake because of its striking resemblance to wolves. This is because they actually do have a wolf ancestry. Originating from Northeast Asia, Huskies were bred for sled pulling, guarding, and companionship. They are anything but timid. They are an active, energetic, resilient breed who boast of a double coat unlike most dogs. Their first owners, the Chukchi people, lived in the harshly cold environment of the Siberian Arctic, explaining why the double coating was vital. Instead of barking like a normal dog should, the Siberian Husky howl like wolves. They have been described as escape artists because of their tendency to dig under, chew through, or even jump over high fences. It is because of this that a six-foot high fence is recommended for this breed as a pet. Without proper care and attention, the Siberian Husky are known to make a mess and turn very aggressive. Their eyes have this terrifying, evil look that could immediately stop you in your tracks. Unfortunately, they are able to sense your fear, and this automatically awakens their instincts and causes them to take defense. These get very aggressive. Medium-sized dogs are known to have caused fatal attacks on children. On the temperament test, the Siberian Husky produced an 86.8% passing rate. Number 2. American Pit Bull Terrier The American Pit Bull Terrier tops the list of the most aggressive dogs on the planet. They are medium-sized and boast of a solid build. They were initially developed for fighting, especially in blood sports. That alone should tell you how aggressive these dogs are. The blood sports included bull and bear biting, whereby the American Pit Bull Terriers would fight against bigger animals in a pit. I guess that is where they got their name from, right? 
While they may not initiate fights, they will never walk away from a fight. They are built to fight, not just fight, but fight to the end. These fierce dogs are capable of ending the life of any foe. Even worse, they are known to have turned on both strangers and their very own owners where proper training and socialization was not applied. If you intend to give them little or no attention at all, please refrain from owning an American Stafford Terrier. Due to their extreme aggression, American Pitbull Terrier have been banned from participating in any dog competitions. They are aggressive towards other dogs, including puppies. It is not the kind of dog to let loose in a dog park. It is almost impossible to save prey from their sharp canines and claws. There are many particular stories surrounding instances where people have tried to save other humans and animals from attacks by this particular breed. Imagine a combination of strength, massive size, and great physique tied up with a mountainous attitude. That's the American Pitbull Terrier for you. Their temperament test passing rate clocked at 87.4%. Would you still own one? Let us know in the comment section below. It's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber wondering about this terrifyingly gigantic calf-sized dog. If you come across a mysterious photo online and want us to look into it, just send it over and we may even feature it on a future video. Now, we looked into this picture and are excited to reveal to you that there indeed exists such a dog breed who exhibits a quick temper and rage uncontrollably. And this takes us to our number one. Borable. Borable is a dog breed that originates from Africa, South Africa to be specific. Bearables are able to survive under harsh conditions and are known to take their jobs quite seriously. They pride themselves in being fierce, protective of their owners and their family. They were originally bred to keep the homesteads safe from hyenas, lions, leopards, and other wildlife, both small and large. If a bearable can take on these wild cats, then imagine what it could do to a stranger and other rival dogs. Bearables are very territorial. If you know what's good for you, you wouldn't dare cross their boundary. You would need to introduce your guests to your bearable, otherwise they will be considered as a threat, and you can be sure that things will not end well. These invaluable guard dogs can be very intimidating even by just looking at them. They make great guard or watchdog due to their incredible muscle strength, large size, intelligence, and natural protective instinct. They are especially more aggressive towards dogs of the same sex and any person that provokes them. It is their overprotective trait that makes them both a great guard dog and a bad aggressive dog. To counter their aggression, bearables require a lot of exercise. As a result, it is not the kind of dog breed to keep in an apartment. It requires a large backyard with a durable, high fence. If you get a bearable the space it needs, it will return the favor by defending you and yours at all cost. Bearable's temperament test passing rate is at 94.7%. That's pretty good, right? And that's it for the 14 most aggressive guard dog breeds. Which of these breeds got you petrified? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, you should definitely check out our video on 10 most fearless animals in the world. Thank you.